Welcome to Jigs Reviews. I've got a few little samples that I'm going to make my way through, and it is the core range of a Talisker. So obviously, I'm going to start with the original. So here we have the number 10. So this is aged for 10 years. Funny that, isn't it? Yeah, in um, American oak casts. So this one is, it's 45.8%. Um, I've had Tasker in the past, but it was a long time ago, so I cannot remember for the last bit what it was like. Um, so I've done a video not too ago, I'll put the link above here for the Talisker Darker Seas, what's it called? Wild Seas, it? Wild Seas, it's Wild Seas. The um, collaboration with Parlay, so that was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful drum. So yes, I'd, uh, I thought I'd bust these out. Bust on bust. And just make my way through them. Um, and if any of them, at least three, are wonderful as that, then I will upgrade to a bigger bowl, but uh, I like to, I mean, I'm, I like most whiskies. There's not many whiskies, and I've got, oh my God, that's disgusting, I've wasted my money here. Um, so, enough to do, if, if that one's anything to go by, then yeah. I have had a 10, but I want in the sky. The 10 or the sky, I can't remember one or two. Um, so, but I'm gonna remember again now anyway when I go for all these. So yeah, I like buying sample size bottles because it's just for me, if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a bottle, you want to enjoy it, so I wish more companies did do. Obviously, it's a fat forum and it's money, isn't it? But if they did these, it would be a lot easier. They're probably getting more sales. So people will buy these and then go and buy a big bottle. But yeah, just my opinion. Anyway, so yeah, let's start with this number 10. So it's good that these, well, for a core stand number 10. 44, 44, 44, you don't max on that one. 45.8%, so yeah, it's better than your box standard 40 that you normally get on a lot of standard core range, like 10 year old whiskey, so that's nice. It's a, um, quite a golden amber colour, really golden actually. It's got some medium legs going down there. It's starting to come down now. All right, let's take this maritime loveliness on the nose, shall we? It's got a lovely salty fruit cake nose to it. It's funny because I love the smell of fruit cake, but I don't like eating fruit cake. If I'm being completely honest with you, I am never a big fan. I'm happily taking miles of pan off the top, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of them. Um, Agile cake. This this smells like a lovely, you know, they fed it well of whiskey or whatever. Yeah, it's so. It's got undertone, like quite a light smoke to it. But oh, it's like peaty you note, know, but real heavy on the alcoholic fruit cake. Very fresh, quite a lot of citrus notes in there. From grapefruit to lemon to a bit of a burnt orange. Very slight honey note in the background as well. But yeah, it's got a lovely nose. completely different in the palette. A lot more smoke, more brine. Fruitcake's gone to a more heavier, stewed, dark fruits. Right, some plum. Blackberry and raspberry and a crumble kind of thing. A lot more salt coming through on that now. A 
get more currenty raisins. Yeah, it's more of a, I know like fruitcake, it does have them sort of as like them fruits in there, but it's more on a lighter note. But in the palette, it got dark. Shit got dark pretty quick. So yeah, mm, that is lovely. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I'll leave that there. I've got five videos to record right now, so I'm just gonna chop them up. So yeah, number one and done. Talisker. Number 10, single malt scotch whiskey. Nice. Fresh from the island of sky. Right. I'll leave that there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next Tuesday reviews.